Here is how to record your DJ sets in Serato DJ Pro, even if you want to use a music streaming service such as Beatport, BeatSource Link, SoundCloud, Tidal. The reason that you need this hack is that you can't hit the record button. I've got a track here from a streaming service playing. I hit record and it tells me at the bottom, eject streaming tracks from decks to start recording. As soon as I turn that track off, get that off the deck, get something loaded on another deck that is a local file and hit record on that, it lets me do it. it, lets me record my set. So this is annoying, right? We don't want to pirate this music, that's not what this is about. That's why that's in there, because the streaming services have made it part of their license for DJ companies that you can't have a record function. We don't want that. We just want to be able to listen back to our sets, see where we need to improve, and you can do it, and this is how. So Serato has added, as of version 2.4, a new tick box under the audio, audio output section of the settings. It's called make audio available to other applications. And when you tick this, the output audio is available to anything else that has got input audio. So for instance, they sell this as, hey, do you want a live stream? Do you want to send your set out as part of a live stream, your music from Serato? This is the way to do it. And then you'd use it in a live streaming piece of software like OBS or something. But it, it works equally well in anything that can take an audio input. For instance, QuickTime. QuickTime is the really simple recording piece of software on every single Mac. So really, what we're gonna do here is make Serato's audio available to QuickTime and then hit record in QuickTime. It's as simple as that. So I've now ticked make audio available to other applications. The first time you do this, it will tell you that you have to install a little piece of software called I Show You. And there's a little link there which will take you over to Serato's website. And from there, you can have a look at it and see exactly what to do. And these instructions are different for PC and Mac, but they're all there for you. So go and get that installed. You have to reboot your computer having done that. You only have to do it once. And then it's as simple as just ticking that box from there on in. So I'm now gonna load a streaming track onto the deck again, hit play on it. And I'm gonna check that I can't record in Serato. Nope, it's not letting me record in Serato. But now I'm gonna open QuickTime on my Mac, and I'm gonna hit new audio recording in QuickTime. And by selecting I show you audio capture here, what's happening is it's ready to record. Now I can hit record on here. That is now recording what I'm playing, even though it's from a streaming service. When I finish, I can hit stop, I can hit save, and my recording is there, ready for me to save to my desktop. It's as simple as hitting record in the Serato software. You just have to have QuickTime, but also you could use Audacity. That's another very famous and free open source piece of software that you can record and manipulate audio in. You've got different apps that you can use on Windows to do the same thing. Anything that can record audio will work. And of course you can use this as well to input into live streaming software like OBS, OBS and so on, if you want to live stream with your Serato audio. So that's how to record your Serato audio, even if you're using music streaming services. Now, if you found this useful, I would really appreciate a, a share or a follow or a like, but also if you'd like to learn a lot more about how to become a great DJ, I'd love you to have a free copy of our book. This is available on Amazon. It's available as an audio book and as a Kindle book and in all good bookstores but I want you to have a PDF of this from me for nothing, just as my gift for you for being the latest subscriber to Digital DJ Tips. To subscribe to Digital DJ Tips, just click the link underneath, it's free to join, and there's a lot more than just the free book, there's a lot more benefit to joining up as well. So I hope you do some of those things, I hope you found this tip useful. Meanwhile, get good, get out there, and make the moments. And I'll see you again very soon.